Hello everyone. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to explain to you how to measure yourself for a cane or a walking stick the proper way. Um, ergonomics is the, the big thing anymore. Especially if you use a cane and you use it a lot, you don't want to have problems with your wrists. Uh, which I do, by the way, because I was a welder at times and a machinist and I have carpal tunnel in both wrists. But uh, anyway, um, when you measure yourself for your walking stick or your cane, make sure you do it with the shoes that you are going to wear the most with it. That has a lot to do with where the grip is and how long your cane should be. Uh, if you wear both, or if you wear your walking stick and you wear hiking boots most of the time, then measure yourself with your hiking boots. If on your cane, if most of the time all you wear is regular street shoes, then measure yourself with street shoes. Now street shoes and tennis shoes are going to be about the same. There, there may be a quarter of an inch difference which really has nothing, no major aspect on it. But if you measure yourself with a hiking boot and you usually wear a tennis shoe, that makes a lot of difference because of the thickness of the soles. So anyway, make sure that you always measure with the proper footwear that you are going to use the most. If every once in a while you do hiking uh, with just a pair of tennis shoes on or just go out for a walk and you run, take your hiking stick with you, that's fine. But if you do mostly just walking on hard surfaces with tennis shoes, then measure yourself with your, your, your tennis shoes. Uh, if most of the time you are hiking with your hikers on, uh, just because they're comfortable for you, that's why I wear my hikers, is they're so comfortable, is uh, go ahead and, and uh, measure with them. Uh, the canes, um, like I said, a quarter of an inch difference isn't going to make a lot, but a half inch or to an inch is going to be quite a difference in how your arm, the length of your arm is going to be with the cane because you don't want to be clear up trying to walk with a cane clear up here or clear down here. So that's where it comes in where I'm going to take uh, my wife Linda and we're going to go out on the back deck in the nice bright sun hopefully and uh, I will show you the proper way to measure yourself for your cane and walking stick the most ergonomically way to do it I guess you could say so uh, I guess that's it oh I will make canes uh, just for stock all my canes start out at 36 inches long and they'll all be finished and if you like that one and uh, you tell me what length you need to be, I, I cut it down, put the rubber end on it, and ship it off to you. Uh, hiking sticks, uh, most of them are going to be probably made, but I'll put the grip different places. So if you see a hiking stick that has no leather grip on it, then that's one that I can adjust to where where that grip is going to go. Uh, I've noticed on a couple people that I know that the wife is very very short and her husband is very very tall and they can't even come close to using the same hiking stick so that's one of the things uh, and if they do uh, especially her if, if well I guess him too uh, it, it, they wear out they wear out uh, I mean, they, they hike for a half a mile and, and they're done. 
So you need the proper stuff. That's my thoughts on it anyway, and that's uh, how I've always done it. And I found that that's works for everybody that I've, I've done so far. So anyway, out we go to the back deck and see what we can do about showing you how to measure properly. Thank you. Hey everyone, uh, here we are out on the, the back deck. <coughs> Excuse me, with my beautiful wife. Uh, Going to show you how to measure for a cane. Now this is the wife's cane. And there you can see how her arm is. So now I'll show you how we measure for that. Put your hand, your arm straight down and relax. You, you don't want to stiffen it up and like a, a military. You just want to relax your arm. And then you want to bring your hand up just slightly. So your elbow is bent. A slight bend in it. And then what you want to do is you take a tape measure and you go down from the floor and you measure to the center of the wrist. The center of the wrist, the wrist joint which on this one is, with hers, is 33 inches. That is the length of my cane that I have to make for her. So, and the reason why you want a little bit of a bend in the elbow is so when you reach out with the cane, and you put it down, your arm is straight. And then when you come back, it moves up a little bit, and then when you go back this way, your arm goes straight again. If you had your arm straight here, and then you went out and your hand was straight, you wouldn't be able to touch the ground out in front of you. So you've got to have your elbow bent just slightly. So when you reach out and you go back, then your, el then your arm goes straight. Okay, now, can I get you to hand me your, your walking stick, sweetheart? Yes. For a walking stick. When you grasp a walking stick, she has her on this. Go ahead and grab it. Your walking stick, go ahead. Now remember, you want to be in the shoes that you normally wear for your cane or your walking stick. You don't want to wear or, or stand here barefooted and then measure and then uh, put on a pair of hiking boots. You've got to wear what you're going to use your walking stick and cane for. Uh, excuse me. You want to wear the shoes that you're normally going to use with your walking stick or your cane. Now, on this, same thing, is you want a slight bend in your elbow. A lot of guys will want you to be like this. But when you're reaching out again, your wrist, if you notice your wrist, turns up and that's not, that's not comfortable. And the same way when you go back, when you go back, your wrist turns up. So when you reach, when you have your arm bent slightly and you go forward, your wrist out here is straight. And when you go backwards, your wrist is straight. So you want to be able to have your walking stick like this, slight bend in your elbow, and then you want to measure from the ground to the cent center of the knuckles. You have four knuckles there. Count down two or count up two, and that's where you want to measure to. So that will be the height of the grip of your walking stick. Now, if you want a compass in your walking stick, like my wife has, you don't want a walking stick that is, well, let me move the camera. Let me get the camera up here. It wouldn't, you don't want the walking stick this long and then she can't look over top of it so she would have to bend the walking stick like this to look at it. Well, that's not right. You gotta have your comp compass straight. So you want to be able to just peer over top 
and see where your compass is. So you want to, if you want a compass in your walking stick, you want to tell me how long your walking stick needs to be when you're standing and just peering over the top and can see your com compass comfortably. Uh, I guess that's about all. Uh, we also have the lariat, lariat for, the, for your wrist. Uh, we can put that on, we can put the compass in. Uh, I always do a, a leather grip. Go ahead and slide that down, huh? I always put a, a leather grip on it. And uh, that's about it. So basically, the, the height of your cane and your walking stick is going to be according to how well you measure them. So take your time, measure it out, make sure you've got your right shoes on, uh, make sure you're standing comfortably, uh, you're not standing uphill or downhill. Um, and the best thing is do not do it on grass out in your yard. Do it in your house on hard floor or driveway or your deck or porch. Uh, you you want to get it as accurate as you can. And all my walking sticks and canes come come with the the rubber stick on the end. A rubber stick, yeah, the rubber <laughs> tip on the end. So I guess that's uh, that's all on the the walking stick and cane. Uh, if you have any questions, you'll be able to get a hold of me. Uh, just put uh, your questions in, in the comment box. And uh, what? Um, I just wanted to make the comment that the sticks are, they're fairly lightweight, but at the same time, they are very sturdy. Um, oh yeah. I've had several. Uh, this one, uh, I enjoy the most. It gives me the best support and yet it's not heavy. This is Aspen. Yes. This is the Aspen and it's, uh, it is very lightweight, but boy, they're strong, man. They are so strong. Yes. Uh, they've been, uh, as they said, uh, mountain folk have used them for hundreds of years and, and the Indians used them uh, wherever they were finding the Aspens. Uh, a lot of it is Colorado and places like that. But uh, they've, been, they've been used for that and they've been carved for hundreds of years too from what I can find out. So, all right, we will let you go on this one and uh, thank you for watching and, and uh, any questions, ask. See you later, bye-bye.